Navigating the English Landscape, Mastering Directions. Hello, English learners. Welcome to today's exciting lesson where we will be honing our skills in asking for and giving directions. Understanding and using directional vocabulary is a crucial part of conversational English, whether you're asking how to get to the nearest coffee shop or finding your way in a new city. Today, we'll focus on common location words like street, avenue, building, corner, intersection, traffic light, roundabout, bridge, and tunnel. So, buckle up and let's get started. Before we dive into asking for and giving directions, it's important to get familiar with common location words. These words will often form the foundation of our directions. 1. Street. This is a public road in a city or town. 2. Avenue. Typically, an avenue is a straight road with trees on both sides. In many cities, streets run from east to west while avenues run from north to south, but this can vary. 3. Building. A structure with a roof and walls. It could be a house, a shop, a school, or any other structure designed for people. 4. Corner. The point where two streets meet. 5. Intersection. The point where two or more roads meet. 6. Traffic light. The signal device located at road intersections, pedestrian crossings, and other locations to control the flow of traffic. 7. Roundabout. A circular junction where drivers move around a central island to reach different roads. 8. Bridge. A structure built over a river, road, or railway to allow people or vehicles to cross from one side to the other. 9. Tunnel. An underground passage for vehicles or pedestrians, often going through a mountain or beneath a body of water. Now that we're familiar with the basic location words, let's move on to asking for directions. Here are a few common phrases. 1. Could you tell me how to get to? This is a polite way to ask for directions. Example, could you tell me how to get to the nearest subway station? 2. What's the best way to? You would use this if you want options. Example, what's the best way to the city library? 3. Where is? This is a direct way to ask. Example, where is the nearest coffee shop? And of course, it's just as important to know how to give directions. Here are some helpful phrases and sentences. 1. Take the first per second on the right, left. This instructs someone to take a specific turn. Example, take the first left, then the building will be on your right. 2. Go straight ahead until you see. This is used when the person needs to continue in the same direction. Example, go straight ahead until you see a roundabout. 3. It's on the corner of. This is used to pinpoint a location. Example, it's on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's put what we've learned into practice. Here are some examples and practice exercises. 1. Example, if someone asked, could you tell me how to get to the city library? You might respond, sure, go straight on this street until you reach the second traffic light. Take a right, and the library is on the left just after the bridge. 2. Practice. How would you direct someone to a restaurant that is three blocks away on the same street, on the right-hand side? 3. Practice. How would you ask for directions to the nearest gas station? Remember, practice makes perfect. So try these exercises and create some of your own as well. That's a wrap for today, folks. We hope this lesson on asking for and giving directions has been helpful. With these phrases and location words in your English vocabulary arsenal, you're well equipped to navigate any English-speaking city or town. Keep practicing, and you'll soon master this vital aspect of conversational English. 
Until next time, happy learning.